Welcome to Crash Enemies episode. There you go, bro. 143. Is it 143? Bro, new listeners going to think that you really talk like that. Bro, I don't care about no new listeners, bro. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Not, if this is your first time listening, welcome to Crash Dummies episode 143. Um, <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> um, subscribe to Patreon. There's a new episode that just dropped there on Monday. Um, we, this episode, we did a Black History Month trivia game with uh, our white listeners. Um, so that's going to be later on in the pod. Also, in the description, you know, I don't really ask you guys for much. Um, one of my sparring partners' house burnt down, and he has a GoFundMe. So I'm gonna put that in the link in our bio or link in our description. So you guys can donate anything—a dollar, two dollars, whatever you guys want to donate. But that's yeah, my sparring partner actually house burnt down while I was um, while we were sparring. So that's crazy. So yeah, um, and I'm watching y'all transactions. <laughs> Hey, I'm calling people out. You <laughs> donate two dollars. I'm, I'm gonna say something. <laughs> well, there's a question we're gonna ask the listeners too, but I want to uh, to get your opinion on it. Um, what's something you you should not bring to a friend's house, or what's something you got mad at me bringing to your house before? <laughs> I remember when I had that that first place in Milwaukee. You used to bring like a jug of water over. <laughs> I was like, bruh. And you not you wasn't the type to like you wasn't in you wasn't training for anything. And it's not like you use that jug anywhere else. It was just like you was coming over to my house with a jug of water. It's like, is my water not purified enough for you, nigga? Like uh, is your water purified differently than am I? I had a friend one time they brought their own fucking straw. Like they have a metal straw. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they brought it with them. Like why? Yeah. You know it was in special I, like, <laughs> I don't even think I don't know. I, I'm like even iffy about bringing a metal straw to a restaurant. Like I get it. You're trying to be you're trying to some right. make the environment better hey, and shit man, like that. Now it's they just gonna have extra straws, yeah. and it's still gonna end up in a turtle's nose. Yeah. Like nothing you can do about it, man. Just take this fucking straw. <laughs> they worried about us. Like they be like, "Oh yeah, use plastic straws." Don't I mean? Don't use plastic yeah. straws. Uh, use these bamboo straws. <laughs> uh, save the environment. Save the turtles. And then these niggas took uh. 20,000 jets during the Super Bowl. <laughs> so back and forth. <laughs> Fuck am I recycling for? <laughs> but, uh, even those straws, bro, I, I get coffee a lot. And like sometimes they give you like those paper straws. Them shits be like soggy as hell. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you got, <laughs> got me like fucking Tiana Trump trying to get this coffee out That's this crazy. fucking, trying to get this coffee out this, this cup, bro. Yeah, like, the bamboo <laughs> straws are the worst. <laughs> then you talking about this. <laughs> If they're using bamboo straws, I can't trust your water. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> not. Did you see um, GTA 6 is rumored to have 3v3 basketball okay. in the game? Which I think is, like, crazy for, like, you know, GTA is one of the most untrustworthy games, like, ever. Yeah. As far as, like, <coughs> playing with someone. Mm-hmm. Right? If I play... 2K with you, the only way that you break my trust if you suck more than you usually do, yeah. right? And that that's, that can be fixed. Like, hey, bro, stop shooting. Hey, bro, don't do this. Or if it's a shooting game we're playing, like, hey, bro, let me handle this part and you do this part. GTA, somebody can actually turn on you and, like, still be successful in, like, terms of their points, mm-hmm. right? So if you do a mission with somebody, you do anything. So having basketball for that, like... Talking about some, ah, and one. It, All right, bet. Saw it <laughs> off shoddy. <dude. laughs> I think it also depends on the mechanics of it, though. Because you ever play basketball in GTA, it's just like move left, move right, and then like a basic, yeah, yeah, a basic one, jump yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they have some, like, the thing about it. Maybe like, they, they integrate some of the 2K. Even if GTA 6 took the graphics of 2K15, <laughs> mm-hmm. that would be super dope. Yeah. Because 15's a very, like, you go play 15, you can still dribble. Yeah. Crossovers and shoot. Even if they take that, I'm not even fire. thinking about the graphics. I'm talking about the movement mechanics because you know, like that's what that, I'm saying. Even if they take the movement mechanics of, but you know, the older, 2K ones, it's like they they bring in people to dribble and stuff like that. So you got to kind of do the same thing now. Not really, because you just copy. You that's, can't just copy the 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 source, the files and shit like that. How you know they didn't go buy it? <laughs> I'm just saying, some I'm just, dude got it already. They don't have to bring in new dudes to copy. If 2K they, is not the 2K is not gonna give that stuff away like that. 
I'm saying even the old EA dudes could give it away. Like, live is dribbleable enough. I'm saying they yeah. just have I to like, have Man, it. NBA Live was the shit. Yes, they just have to have the team that already knows how to do it to just come in and yeah, do it. They exactly. don't need any players. They don't need no... Well, they, they don't need any players. I'm saying they can get any random person. Imagine them, like, get yeah. the dribble package of a crip. <laughs> like, <laughs> you right. do gotta get the you you do gotta bring those people in because yeah, there's yeah. people in the hood that got like especially the old the OGs mm-hmm. they be having like the old school moves like yeah. the the dribble dribble shimmy shimmy mm-hmm. oh, like hook you gotta get that shit yeah, too yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you gotta get those niggas just be like um let me get one shot nephew like those type of shots too oh just that yeah <laughs> yeah that shit I think um GTA six the like the way it's coming out it's coming out at a dangerous time because it's coming out. 2025, uh, right? Right, and like... Are we in 2024? Oh, so yeah, next year, yeah. Okay. Yeah, next year. But, you know, Apple ProVision just, like, dropped, right? And that'll have, like, a year of experience, <clears throat> and I'm sure number two will be out by then. Yeah. With that game coming out. So no telling, like, in, like, how the meta world has been working. So mm-hmm. no telling how you'll be able to integrate yourself in GTA. Yeah. Because they got all that stuff. What's stopping them from saying, hey, if you pay this extra... You can actually be in a game and you don't need a controller and stuff. Yeah. So. And for RP, it'd be kind of crazy. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you always see those memes where um, it's like distance in the future, yeah. and then some guy is like fat in real life, mm-hmm. but he goes into this virtual thing and he has a million dollars. Like honestly, like if you pay your rent and you want to live in a virtual world, you want to live fine. in a virtual world. It's gonna be some people that don't want to live in this world. Yeah. That are, I guarantee we can find a bunch of people that don't like their lives right now. It's like them. literally, what, would you rather be the main character in your own world? You're making decent money, yeah. you be the main character, or you go mm-hmm. to a world where people are bringing you down emotionally yeah. and shit like that. It is kind of fucked up to think about, but I would think people 100 years ago would be looking at now like, oh, y'all on y'all phones, y'all doing all this? It's just like humans are going to, uh, I feel like humans were always involved with the technology mm-hmm. as well. It's like, we're going to get used to it. Like, I don't, I, people don't, there's going to be new norms. Yeah. <laughs> people don't get like the, how trends like come and go. Yeah. Like how, when we grew up, like if you was under 18, you didn't have a voice at all. Yeah. Like nobody's listening to <laughs> anybody. Now it's like 12 year olds making a million dollars streaming. <laughs> yeah. Cause people care about what they say. Mm-hmm. It's like, Things gonna change. That's why I hate when people get on the internet and be like, "Man, these kids today." Because he was talking about, I know we're gonna talk about it, but the Cam Newton, yeah, Darius Slay had a tweet like, "Man, these kids today are different." The parents and grandparents of our generation were saying the same thing. Exactly. About us. They're like, "These little niggas cut different. <laughs> they don't pick cotton no more." Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Especially y'all did the leg work for those. That. Probably had to be the most obedient kids. Uh, the kids that the parents were direct slaves. Yeah. Like, bro, you can't complain about shit to mm-hmm. me. Like, I was a slave. <laughs> <laughs> no real shit. Yeah. But in, in that same sense, it's like the better people don't realize that uh, more and more people in the black community are giving their kids way better lives. Yeah, for sure. And it's just like now people will be like, oh, you spoil, you spoil. Like, no, nah, that's the way you're supposed to be living. This is what, yeah. yeah. Everybody it's, thinks that you have to like to struggle. Even like when you even going back to like the the Cat Williams thing and saying how Kevin Hart got to where he got to and stuff like that. And yeah. it's like people always hate when you don't take that that rougher route yeah. to get where you, to get to the same point. You're just as talented, but you had an easier way than some, that's what you want. I want it. We podcasting, right? It's kind of a hard time to be podcast, but I want it easier for the next person coming up to podcast. Like I want yeah. it easier for ne- the next person, the next person. They get a stimulus package from Drake. Yeah. So be it. Like it, it is what it is. Yeah. You got, you only can control your path mm-hmm. to like take something from somebody else. is just like, that's the definition of hating. Yeah. It just be like, he got that. And the only reason he got that is because of this. So, so exactly. it's like, they were talking about like the parents thing. Yeah. You'd be talking about, I remember one dude commenting, he was just like, I need, y'all need, the, y'all need me on a podcast because both of y'all got y'all dads in y'all life. Like, nigga, what? <laughs> like, does that make me less black because my dad is in my life? Yeah. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Niggas be saying anything. anything. I really I believe that people, there are people that they don't exist. Uh-huh. Like, God literally made them to say anything just to keep the other people on their toes. Like I need this person yeah. just to go out there, tweet, say anything, and they just roam in this earth, and they keeping it, you know, just enough to where, you know, we got to think on our toes and keep advancing as humans because we're trying to get rid of these dummies. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's what God doing. And he's sending <laughs> these dummies down so we can keep advancing but technology. That's just like, like this that. one this one boxer um, named Chris Hubanks, right? And 
basically his dad was a boxer, and then the guy who was fighting, I forgot the guy's name, was basically saying, oh, you're spoon-fed, this and that. But the guy's a good boxer, and he's, and he obviously Chris Eubanks beat the guy. So it's like, yeah. it doesn't matter, like, the resources you're given. Yeah. It's just your resources you're given is resources you're given. I know, I knew, I know a dude from Sheboygan that'll knock anybody out yeah. in a street fight. And I know a dude from my hometown that's a bitch. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's like, it don't matter where you from. It's about, like, who the person, when people start looking at, like, who the individual person is, then, like, the stereotypes go away. But if you just always assume, like, oh, he this type of person, yeah. like, you might yeah. be right. There might be five, it might be a group of five dudes, and they all hold, hey, yeah. bitches. <laughs> all them niggas bitches? Yeah, I checked. Okay. <laughs> all them, and, though. <laughs> and just like the, so, uh, in other news, the Bronny was dropped from the uh, mock drafts. Right. For, right? And it was obviously, it was a, a headline, and LeBron commented on saying, like, just let the kid play basketball. Yeah. He doesn't care about that. And I was watching uh, Shannon Sharp's, um, um, show with uh, Ocho Nightcap. Yeah. And basically, he mentioned that it was just a true statement to me that it's like, it's true that LeBron can say that, but LeBron also in the same sentence said, um, Bronny could play, when watching, I think, a Golden State game or something like that, it was like, Bronny could play on this team right now type of thing or can play in the NBA right now. He's yeah, better, he's better than, than some. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's like, is you can't you can't have it, you have your cake and eat it too when it comes to that stuff sometimes too. I think, I think it's, that's a, that's a, tough situation it is tough because he's a parent yeah for sure and it's just like it's different what other parent has like where but that what that comment was unprovoked though it's, that's i understand thing. that but like if Kenya martin or scotty pippen all these guys with kids in the nba they probably made these gary payton they probably made these same statements but every tweet that they say isn't being but their kids in the nba huh but their kids in the nba Brian's gonna make the nba yeah, I'm just saying because he was dropped from the mock draft. It's just like it's sometimes it's just like you you can respond to the negative headlines, and but you can't also like put them out there. Like you say, let's let him play basketball. Then yeah. you have to do your part to just let him play basketball. But as well. what I will say is sometimes mock drafts they they have to be irregular though. Yeah, and the most I understand why he's dropped out the, the mock draft. But yeah. the the thing is, is like who's who's going to be a number one pick this year? I have no clue. Exactly. <laughs> Right, you know more about Bronny than you know who's going to be the number one pick. Yeah, I don't watch. So when, the thing about mock drafts is how they make their money is for people to check on them, the mm. changes that happen, and that's the biggest headline. They that was make. the headline. If they could take the number five dude who probably plays in fucking Greece right now mm. and say, "Hey, the number five dude moving up to number three, and we bumped the number three down to number six. you're like, "Who and who and who?" Yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't think But if you say, hey, we taking Bronny off the mock draft. Oh, let me go look at the mock draft. Now I'm mm. checking on the mock draft. Now, if Bronny starts to do good, what's going to happen to that mock draft board? People are going to go back and visit that yeah. shit. Like, is he on there now? But uh, I think the, the other thing, too, is like what I was listening to is just like, obviously, people have high expectations for for Bronny, which I don't think he's not going to be LeBron. LeBron James, like, there's nobody. This It's just crazy when your dad is somebody yeah. that popular. It's just he's like. One, he's one of, nobody might. Ever beat his son. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, ever. So you can't just expect his son to also, you know. Even be close to be that. Be the close like, to that. When have we ever had a father-son all-star yeah. in basketball? I can't think of one. No. I don't know if Dale Curry was ever an all-star. But I feel like Dale and Steph got to be the best father-son duo. Uh -huh. Who else? I'm trying to think. You know Jameel Nelson Sabonis. has a son? It might be Sabonis. Sabonis who? Sabonis had, I think his dad played, I might, but his dad played overseas. I don't know. Who? <laughs> Jameer Nelson. Jameer Nelson has a junior in college. Yeah. That's TCU. crazy. <laughs> I thought we it's, was the same age. Yeah, Jameer me too. Nelson. You tripped me, dude. <laughs> it's just like all these uh, uh, sports dudes. You know, when you start to feel old is when the people you actually watch play mm. <laughs> start having kids and Man, you see their kids. I had a nightmare the other day, bro. <laughs> I was asleep and... I had this dream I was on a basketball court, right? Mm -hmm. And these young niggas would not pass me the ball. <laughs> and all I kept hearing, set that screen up. Set that screen up. <laughs> hey, I was in bed like. <laughs> <laughs> I got y'all, bro. When y'all gonna hit me on this pop real quick. Right here, right here, right here. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, calling me unk is definitely a way to get shot. <laughs> Ain't no cap. <laughs> I do, I got called Unk on one of my posts too. <laughs> I think I mean if you're 16, I could definitely probably be your uncle. Like, 
Technically. So uh, this is why I was I, I was kind of lost. I was looking up this George Foreman thing because George Foreman has kids, right? And his kids' names are we talked about this before, but are, are interesting. Um, I don't remember, so I'm not to be George has nicknamed the, the the Georges. So he has George Jr., George the third, George the fourth, George the fifth, and George the sixth. All his kids' names are George. I fuck with it. That's how like they used to do it back in the old days. Really? Yeah. All your kids are named one name? Mm-hmm. And some. And some. Would you do that? Yeah. <laughs> you going to name your kids all the same thing? I mean, I messed up on one already. Yeah. <laughs> so the next ones might get it. <laughs> no, nah, you Patrick, can't. Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. You no, can't, I can't you give everybody no fucking Irish name. <laughs> I don't even like my name. <laughs> my dad doesn't even like our name. Me and my dad got the same name, obviously. Yeah. We don't like our name. So you just end the, oh dang you did just end the the junior lineage. There's no third. No no no. It's Damn. over with. It never will be. Damn. Me and my dad might change our names to something else. <laughs> would you change your name? Listen, if you could legit change your name to any name you wanted, what name would you choose? X. Why? <laughs> just to be so I can just sign shit easy. <laughs> Be mad as hell at the bank when I get robbed of millions and shit. <laughs> what the fuck you mean he forged my signature? <laughs> Nigga, my ex don't look like that. <laughs> look at his shit. Look at my shit. Come on, man. You're gonna get, it's going to get confusing, too, when, you know, sometimes when you see sign your signature here, you, uh-huh. they put an X right there next yeah. to it. They're like, oh, shit, they already signed my papers. I'm right. good. Oh, he printed this shit. Okay, right. <laughs> Nigga, I ain't signed that shit. <laughs> In court trying to prove that he signed it. That's not my ex, bro. <laughs> For my ex. <laughs> oh. um, I saw Joe Biden claims that the key to a long and lasting marriage is good sex. According to a new book about his wife and first lady, Joe Biden. The key to a good marriage. Yes. It's good sex. It's good sex. Okay. It's a long lasting marriage. It's, a, it's good sex. Okay. What, what, what am I gonna do that from? I don't feel like Joe Biden is like the the, the person I should Only take sex that, advice okay. from either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nick can barely make it up the stairs. Okay, only thing that bothered me like about presidents doing it, obviously, it's been every president and every politician. Yeah, right. I don't want to see you talk about regular shit. <laughs> Why? I don't care, bro. <laughs> We're on the verge of World War Three, and you talking about the key to a long lasting marriage. By the talks of it, nigga, ain't nothing long lasting around this bitch. <laughs> we about to go to war. The thing, I, I think, hey, every day I injure myself a little bit more on purpose. I <laughs> jump up from something, hurt my knee, because when they start the evaluations for that war, they go, like, oh, this nigga is yeah, I gotta, get, I, I gotta get out of shape. Nah, man. nah, they're gonna be looking at the highlights. Yes, like, yes, this is a front line type of nigga right here. <laughs> but I think, too, like, what politicians, too, is like they th- like to talk about stuff like that because. I feel like the more you say stuff about politics, the more you're going to be wrong. Because right. just like we talk, right? We talk a lot, right? Yeah. There's a lot of things I say wrong because I just talk a lot. Yes. And we talk for hours and hours. Yes. So To be right about like 25% of this stuff is yeah. really good. Yeah. So that means you're wrong about 75% of shit. Yeah. <laughs> so like, exactly. So when you keep talking, you're just going to keep saying things you don't mean or just random things. So then you're going to have to backtrack. A lot, of, a lot of politicians are hypocrites. You go back in the day and see what Kamala Harris and, and Biden have said before, and then they, they would never say those that things now. That shit is a game to them. Yeah. <laughs> People don't realize that shit. Like, these dudes will go and vote on something to where, like an abortion law or mm. something like that to where this really affects people's lives, and nobody in that room is young enough to have a baby. Yeah. Nobody in that room is like even like they're making laws. Like you got like ten white men making a law about a woman's body. Yeah. It's just like, bro, this shit is crazy. Everybody in here over seventy. Yeah, like these niggas was using their own water fountain. <laughs> these niggas, they can't even like, like you said, can't even have kids. Probably have to take Viagra and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, all that stuff. Like, all these niggas, <laughs> you think they need to, they need Planned Parenthood, nigga. Like, nigga. It's ten o'clock, and all these niggas in here has had ten Celsius. <laughs> He dying, bro. Uh, oh, there's an update to the um the Cam uh, Newton situation. Oh, okay. so we talked about a little bit about the uh a little bit about it on the Patreon podcast, mm-hmm. and we're just talking about obviously Pat Cam Newton got to a physical altercation art- with um at a his little football game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah. Hate, I hate, let me stop saying little. I hate when people say little. I got a man. His seven on his big seven on seven. seven. Yeah, <laughs> his tournament, and then um 
at first we didn't hear the side from the people that cause first of all cam new is a, a, a large human being and he looked like he was handling the jump very well yeah <laughs> like smiling while uh while two people are pressing you is kind of crazy but um all right, we have the clip. Sitting here and I'm speaking to you guys, and there's so much that you guys are doing for the community, and you're pouring into these uh, young men. And so it's just like, what can make something transpire like this? First and foremost, like what I want to do, I want to apologize to everybody that was out there and okay. to the the parents of not just our team, but mm-hmm. everybody. Yeah, everybody that was, that was offended like, by it. That, yeah. that, that should have never happened. Mm-hmm. Like we should have been able to sit down and talk like there's no reason we should be yelling at each other while a game right. going on like it's, that shit it ain't none of that necessary and so Cam has an organization mm-hmm. it's not just one team he has an organization so it's just been a lot of trash talk you know from you know what I'm saying hit more so his side just out of nowhere just talking crazy to us for no reason it's like it's not nothing new like I've been around bro for five years so mm-hmm. like this typical Cam Newton behavior but Steph you was right there yeah, so oh, they you talking. You listening to the whole thing, so yeah, you heard yeah. him and you walked up. So Let Steph walked up there, oh, okay. What's the, and as I'm know? walking up, Steph, Cam is in Steph's face. I made y'all responsible for everything y'all do, whatever. The, then he grabbed Steph. Okay. So me being my little brother, and I'm walking up a flight of Steph. So yeah, but yeah, that was the people that were fighting um, Cam explanation of what happened, and I mean, I kind of get it, but I don't know. It depends. I, I once if Cam touched him in any way. Then yeah, right. They were always gonna be the bad guys, no yeah, matter what. No matter what, because it's Cam Newton, yeah, it's, and because they didn't jump him successfully. That's that's the other thing. That's the other thing, right? <laughs> but if they did, they'd be painted at eighteen. So it's good that they lost it, that they didn't successfully yeah. jump him, because I think it, it le- look even worse than it does. And right, you never know what somebody says, right? Yeah. If a dude with uh, one amputated leg comes up to me, whispers something in my ear, and pushes me, and then I started beating the shit out of him, and then when the camera popped, how would you on, let him whisper in your ear? Huh? How would you let him whisper in your ear? Because I thought he was gonna tell me where his other leg was. <laughs> Where's it at? <laughs> Buried in the sea. Uh, <laughs> nah, bro, dude, whispering to you like that in a place is not a club. No, that's crazy. With loud music, like no, why are you in my ear? No, wait, whispering in a club too. That's crazy. I'm just saying because you have to cut. Not whispering, but I guess talking louder, closer. Do you want to talk about Cam Newton or whispering? <laughs> 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 Hi, nigga. Uh, but anyway, it's Cam Newton. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, either way, it's just they're too grown to they're too grown to be fighting, bro. Like at a football game, especially if Cam put his hands on him, then all bets are off. I'm with him. <sighs> yeah, you can't I, put your hands on another man and tell him how to react. So, so let me. You can't me, be like, oh, I'm not gonna do this because no, I'm I agree. more professional than you. Like, I agree. No. I agree. Yeah, you can't do that. If the, that's the case. If that's the case. But I guess some people were in the comments were saying like, "Oh, if this was like a Peyton Manny camp or something like that. It was nobody would be fighting and Peyton stuff like Manny that." Peyton Manny would never yell. Yeah, and also, I just don't. I don't think it's a white or black thing. I think it's more just a guy thing. It's one situation. Yeah, it, it, it just happened. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like that's like uh, that's what drives Cam's camps. Mm-hmm. That's where he comes from. Like people talking shit, and there's also there's always going to be a thin line when you're competing in that way. Yeah, I, I think this is being. I think obviously they shouldn't have fought in front of kids yeah. like at any point in time. Nobody should put their hands on each other. They shouldn't have been even yelling at each other in front of the kids. Mm-hmm. Um, anytime, and the thing about it is when people say, um, I made you, like if I helped a person off the street, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say I gave somebody $100,000 and they took that 100000 and made it 200000 and now they live in nice, they got a job and a family. Mm-hmm. And we get into it and I say, I made you. Even if that's true, that person had to have some type of drive. Like, you didn't just give them the spot that they were in. Yeah. Even if you helped them, you didn't help them all the way to life up to that point mm-hmm. when you started helping them. So, if, if he said that, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Too. I made you. It's crazy. <laughs> no, the person you should I, hear that I, from I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made your you mom crazy. or dad. Yeah, like, yeah. After that. Like, As dudes, too, we have pride, too. Like, nobody can ever say, like, I would never say, oh, I'm the reason this podcast, or you would never say that to me either, mm-hmm. right? So it's like one of those things where it's like we both put in the work for something, and it's like, nah, you probably provide the platform, yeah, but you still have to <laughs> do yeah. my part. Exactly. Like you gave <laughs> Even us artists, a, like, yeah. like the, when it comes to music artists, it's like obviously the labels give you those advances, but it's still up to, up to you too. But why did they give you the advance? Because they believed in you. Yeah, thank yeah. you. You gave them something also. Like yeah. These guys must have been great at like having an organization themselves or mm-hmm. having a team themselves. That's why Cam... Invite them to the thing. But regardless of that, they are, 
we I don't know if they're telling the truth. Yeah, that's the other and, thing. And you're right, they could be lying, yeah. but there was forever like on both ends, like you didn't successfully jump them, which good thing you didn't. Yeah, because people be like, ah, look at these dudes, they lose lose situation. Look at these dudes, they yeah. couldn't even. <laughs> Jump Cam Noon, Cam Noon a dog. But if they would have slammed Cam Noon and knocked him out cold, look at these thugs. Cam Noon should never go back to the hood. Yeah. Lose, lose for them regardless. Yeah. And them jumping on the podcast, they might have felt like some type of way. Cam hasn't came out and said anything. No, but that's I think that they, they have the right to jump on them because they know their voice is not going to be heard any other way. Like the yeah. Shade Room picked it up, right? Because they hopped on the podcast. If they just probably said it from their page, who knows who? how many people would have right. heard. Right. You got to verify if this even the person, yeah. especially in today's age. Yeah. <laughs> and they're going to be like, you got to uh, say a, I. A verified thing and to say, Cam Newton, do fall Cam Newton. This yeah. really him. Like, yeah. nah, it don't work like that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's get to uh, the game show and maybe some listener callers. I don't know yet. So, <laughs> no, no listener callers. We'll see. <laughs> Whether you're looking to spice up your intimate moments or increase your confidence in the bedroom, Joy Mode makes all natural and science baked so to helping men perform better across their core functions. So, yeah, you got to stop going and getting them uh, gas station pills. Gas station <laughs> pills, the honey pack. <laughs> y'all boys don't be reading the labels on them or nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, y'all y'all basically taking something that's right next to cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right. Uh, <laughs> whether you're happy or unhappy with your performance in the bedroom, why not perform even better? So, make sure to go to Use Joy Mode dot com slash dummies and get 20 percent off using the code dummies at checkout that's 20 percent off and free shipping using the the code dummies and use j-o-y-m-o-d-e dot com slash dummies this episode is sponsored by underdog fantasy this app is an easy way to make cash just by making picks on your favorite players all you have to do is pick if players will have a higher or lower stat total to win while picking between two and five players to build a pick entry. Underdog is available in more than 30 states. Make sure to support the show and click the link in the bio. Download the Underdog Fantasy Sports app. They will also match your first deposit up to $100 when you use the code DUMMIES. Anyway, thank you for Underdog for sponsoring this episode. And make sure to use the code DUMMIES. Uh, now back to the show. All right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast Special Edition. We got a uh, Black History Month special edition where we got our white listeners on call answering questions about black people. And we'll see how well they do. Okay, okay. <laughs> so okay. For, we're going to ask a question. I want you guys to say your name, how long you've been white, and your top three favorite black people. Ooh, that's, that's a good question. I like that one. See, so I usually start off when so. somebody races. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, start ahead. All right. So I'm Eddie. I've been uh, white for 18 years. And favorite black people, Frederick Douglass, <laughs> um, Jimi Hendrix, and B.B. King. <laughs> hey, that's not as bad as I'm just saying, he hasn't liked a black dude since the 90s. He cut it off. Like, all right, after 1990, I'm not fucking with you, niggas. All right, next contestant. Contestant number two. All right, that's me. Uh, I'm, my name's Caleb. Uh, I've been white for my whole life, which is 20 years. Uh, my top three favorite black people. Uh, Jimmy Fox. Denzel Washington, and uh, let's go Key Glock. <laughs> I don't Where's know. The, how does that work? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, contestant number three. Uh, contestant number three, my name's Dom. I've been white uh, 20 years now. I feel a little black, though, not going to lie. But anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> my three favorite black people, um, let me think. It's a tough one. Whoa. It's too many. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, too many. Good save, um, good save, good save. Yeah, 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 there's a lot. You know, I got <laughs> two, there's a lot of good ones. Um, <laughs> you know, I like Barack Obama, <laughs> Rosa Parks, <laughs> and Mike Tyson. <laughs> no questions for you. Uh, contestant number four. I, ref right. I refuse to let you elaborate on that one. So the question is, uh, <laughs> say your name. How long you been white? You just have to say your first name and your top three favorite black people. All right. 
My name is Eric. I've been white for 21 years. My top three favorite black people. Does it have to be in order or just like? Any, uh, yeah, in no order. All right, all right. No order. We got Brandy, like Ray J's sister, Brandy. Okay. We got Ray J. <laughs> and shit, give me Will. He was putting up numbers. <laughs> 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 all right all right contestant number five yo yo all right my name is cam um i've been white 20 years top three favorite black people i'm gonna say my boy cash and my boy mikey because they're on their way over here and if i don't say them about to rash me and then um let's say michael jackson so your two homeboys and Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. <laughs> That's crazy. I know. I y'all three been in Never Neverland. For sure. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put you guys on mute real quick, and then we're gonna start the second round. What's one thing your mother didn't raise? One thing my mother did not raise. <laughs> nah, I ain't um, say the question like that. Don't fix this question now. <laughs> He, he corrected This you. is a tough one. You got to, like, finish this. You basically, you're finishing the sentence. Yeah, basically. Basically, you got to say, my mama okay. didn't raise. But what's one thing your mama didn't raise? Uh, enough money for this one, like, like fundraiser thing in my, in my elementary school. <laughs> um, I can talk about this for a long time. Yeah. Um, Try another yeah. podcast. <laughs> All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. Next contestant. Good job. Good answer. <laughs> I'm sure we'll rank really high. Hello. What's up? What's you up? asked the question, sir, Pat. Okay. Finish this. Okay. Actually, I don't. Got you. I'm tripping. What's one thing your mama didn't raise? My mama didn't raise no bitch. Close enough. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Yo. Yo. All right. I got a question for you. What's the question? What's the question? What's one thing your mama didn't raise? A quitter. I didn't, she didn't raise a quitter. Eh, I fuck with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, I fuck with it. Good answer. I get, answer. get the theme of the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like it. I yeah. like it. Yeah. <laughs> I fuck with it. He said enough funds. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <man. laughs> that shit is ridiculous. That's the widest thing ever. Funds. Yo. 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 I had a question for Yo. you. Yeah. What's one thing your mama didn't raise? Repeat that. One thing my what? What's one thing your mama didn't raise? Didn't raise a bitch. <laughs> good answer, good answer. What's one thing your mama didn't raise? A bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're about to go to the next round. All right, word. All right. Yo, Eddie. Hello. All right, next question. How did you know when it was time for? To come back inside the house when you were playing outside with your friends? Uh, so when I was young, we would be able to... Um, so I would be playing outside and I just remember I would be able to smell the rain. And it was very strong, right? You'd, you'd smell it for like 30 minutes before it would start to rain. And uh, once that really hit you, you just... You just know that. This you sounds know, like a really bad audio book. I'm not going to lie <laughs> Like, you know, you're like, oh, I'm going to just audio book the book. And then it's a dude narrating like this. You're like, all right, I'm going to just read the shit. <laughs> hey, appreciate you. Good answer. Good answer, bro. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the rain. Hey, what up? Yo. All right. I got a question. How did you know it was time to come back? How did you know when it was time to come back inside the house when you were playing with your friends? Uh, as soon as the sun goes down, most of the time. 
Or when dinner's ready. It just depends. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what time did you eat dinner? Ah, shit. I mean, my dad cooks, and it was whenever he got off work. So let's go with, like, like seven. Okay, that's respectful. Yeah. <laughs> that been in some households. They be eating tonight, 5.30. 5.30. No, not some, like, 4 o'clock shit. Yeah. No, no. What's, some, what's some milk in the middle of the table and shit? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> All right, next caller. Yo. Yo. Hello. All right. How did you know when it was time to come back inside the house when playing outside with your friends? I see. So, mm, how did I know? I mean, you know, my mom and my dad, before he left me, uh, you know, they just told me as soon as the as soon as the sun starts going down or if the street lights turn on, you know, and then if I were down the street and the lights turned on, you know, the sun goes down, my dad would just go on the balcony and yell as loud as he could. And I felt like my, you know, neck hair stand up and I'd run home. Oh, so you, you came back and your dad didn't. That's crazy. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Fucked but, up, man. That crack addiction got him, so. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Your dad was a crackhead? Yeah. Damn. Fucked up, bro. I you ain't have to say that. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is like when the street lights came out. <laughs> now we know your dad's a crackhead. It's crazy. Fuck that nigga, though. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> you beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Insane straight to the father. <laughs> like, <laughs> yo. How did you know? You your mic, bro. How, huh? how did you know when it was time to come back inside the house when you were playing outside with your friends? Oh, when the lights came on. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's a good answer. All right. Sorry, I need to see dude profile pictures. <laughs> you answered the question wrong. <laughs> Yo. Yo. All right. How did you know when it was time to come back inside the house when playing outside with your friends? Um, see, I feel like y'all just want the the most stereotypical answers, but for me, I mean, I didn't live in the city, so we didn't have no street lights. So uh, usually, when the bugs got too bad, <laughs> country, okay. country living. <laughs> All right, are you familiar with how the game Start Bench Cuts goes? No. So I'm going to name three names. You either start one, like a, you know, like a starting lineup. You bench one, meaning you just put them on the bench, and you just cut one from the team completely. So if I was playing, so if I was playing start, I understood. Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, you got, got it? it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, I forgot. That, I forgot yeah. who we talked to. Mr. Audiobook. He already got a different thing. All right, ready? I'm quite the sports fan myself. Yeah. <laughs> start, bench, cut. I know. Martin Luther King, LeBron James, or Jay-Z? Um... Start Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> uh, Martin Luther King or Martin Luther King Jr.? Martin Luther King Jr. I never really not, knew much about his dad like right. that. <laughs> Yo, OG didn't do anything. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mm. Uh, right. I mean, he, you know, he, he fathered the great, but, you know, other than that, you know, no one really knows him, right? <laughs> um, LeBron James, um, he can go on the bench, I think. Um, I love, I love LeBron. Uh, he's great. Sorry. Um, and Jay Z can get cut. I don't. I, I think you know. He fell off. <laughs> Yeezy fell off. Um, you just say Yeezy. Jay Z. Uh, I'm sorry. Did you say Jay-Z? Yeezy fell off? Oh, I'll just say say Yeezy. All right. No, I, th- I think Yeezy fell off too, but you know. <laughs> what? It, it's just too bad because, you know, I, I, he's, I, I, I do like, you know, minor production. He's a, he's a great inspiration. <laughs> All right. All right. How did, nice question. How did you celebrate yes. Black History Month? How did I celebrate Black History Month? It's a great question. So um, I've recently been looking into, um, do you guys know what the Chitlin course is? The Chitlin course? No. No. Ugh. Yeah, so it's a bunch of theaters around like 30 or so, maybe like 35, uh, in like the Southeast United States um, 
that are, are predominantly toward uh, or were predominantly toward like during uh, the, the era of segregation by black artists and were, were frequented by um, uh, black showgoers. And I've just been looking into that and I've like been to the uh, Howard Theater in, in D.C. Wonderful place, tons of history. It's just been great. Um, it it jump started the career of a ton. <laughs> what is this thing? No office information. Like, this is crazy. I don't really love this uh, shit. Is your wife black, bro? <laughs> All right, next question. Um, Jimmy, of course. My well, apologies. No, you're good. You're all good. No, you're good. All right, next question. In the movie Juice, who plays the role of Bishop? The Rock. <laughs> Close. No. <laughs> no, that's not it. Do you want to know? Just for. Uh, if, I would love to. Thank it was, you. It was Tupac. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <In peace. laughs> All right. You're invited to a cookout at your I friend's. Am. Yeah, uh, no, we're <laughs> not invited to the cookout. <laughs> this is hypothetical. Oh. You're invited to. <laughs> this nigga just meow. <laughs> <laughs> You're invited to the cookout at my house. What dish are you bringing? Ooh, okay. This okay. Mm. So I cook a lot. Um yeah, either a brisket or Baked mac and cheese. <laughs> Please don't bring no mac I and cheese to my shit. Collards. How do you make your mac and cheese? I, so, my mac and cheese? Yeah. Depends. I mean, it <laughs> depends on, like, the cheese that I have in the house. And I don't really bake it. Um, like... You know, a lot of people get too obsessed with like the breadcrumbs and the fucking <laughs> spices and and the flavorings and the seasoning. You know, fuck that. It's like, it's it, a lot of people make it out to be a lot more complex than it needs to be, and it's really not. It's it's a very simple dish. It's a comfort food. <laughs> um, you know, it's it just. It, I'm not gonna lie. He's not. He's not gonna lie. He's not gonna lie. Niggas do be so, overcomplicated mac and cheese sometimes. <laughs> No, so I have a bunch of like blocks of cheese in in like my my refrigerator, and I just like um, shred them up and just like make a mix to to whatever I'm tasting at the moment, like whatever I feel like at the moment, right? Okay. And that's yeah. what I end up using. Okay, uh, you can keep that shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'll take the brisket. Just bring the brisket. <laughs> brisket. Yeah, just bring the- I I just really like um, <laughs> collards. Too. Like my granddad worked in um uh, Alabama. For you just a while. say you like That's colors. Co- Collard. Oh, Collard. I, I really like colors. <laughs> <laughs> That's to say. All right. I like him too, man. And he yeah he worked in Huntsville for a while. And while he was there, he ate a lot of like traditional Southern food, and would just end up um like bringing that to my family. So, um like fried green tomatoes and collards are just like something that I. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> Finish these lyrics. I pull up at the club, VIP, gas tank on E. What's the next lyrics? Ooh, that is that's a great question. So um hip hop music of the nineties originated um as a <laughs> derivation of um, the stolen blues of the 1960s, which was uh, largely propagated on the, um, the Chitlin course that I mentioned earlier by lots of musicians like B.B. King, um, <laughs> Jimi Hendrix, right? <laughs> and it, it really came as a natural evolution of a very like rhythmic based <laughs> okay. uh, type of music, right? And what's really interesting is it actually um, is like the the whole style of like blues um really originated um from oh uh, okay all right <laughs> all right good answer good answer bro all right probably gonna get the other people in here now. all right next contestant great job brody appreciate you bro all right start bench cut 
Martin Luther King, LeBron, or Jay Z? I uh, star and Martin, right? He mm -hmm. was there. He was that guy. Benching Braun, cutting Jay Z. Jay Z, he's good, but he ain't those two. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Good answer. All right, trivia question. What's a business you needed to stay out of as a kid? There's a lot, to be honest. Uh, probably my parents' business. Okay. Probably should stay out of that the most. Okay, okay. Hey. <laughs> All right. What are things black people say when they don't agree with your decision, but they aren't going to argue? Uh, yeah, you're, you're pulling out the big guns on this one. Um, they, they agree to disagree. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of something right now. Um, <laughs> it was kind of basically the, <laughs> you know what I mean? They, you know, most people, they'll, uh, they won't argue, but they'll be like, all right, whatever, whatever you're good. Sure. Sure. <laughs> you know, just like. They'll, they'll push that shit off. Like, yeah, we know you're full of it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, how did you celebrate Black History Month? Um, I went to a few soul jazz concerts near my college. Soul jazz? Yeah. Okay, I'll just make sure that's what you said. All right. All right, and then last question. Um, you're invited to the cookout. What dish are you bringing? All right. I got a, I got some pretzel sticks or a potato salad. Just depends on my mood that day. <laughs> pretzel sticks is crazy. No, pretzel sticks. <laughs> Do you like pretzels? No. I don't like pretzel pretzel sticks? Yeah. No. The fluffy <laughs> ones, yeah. Pretzel bun is pretty good. Yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah, no. snap with that one. Yeah. <laughs> Salty ass bun. <laughs> All right, next contestant. Finish this lyric. <laughs> I pull up at the club, VIP, gas tank on E. All right, start, bench, cut. MLK, LeBron James, Jay-Z. Uh, I think we're starting. We're going to start Jay-Z, you know. I don't know why, but I, I feel like he's nasty with it, you know. Um, um, we're going we're gonna to bench. We're gonna bench who? We're gonna bench Le uh, LeBron, and then um, and then uh, you know we we gonna we gonna cut you know my boy Martin. You know. <laughs> we get right in. It's wraps for him. It's over. Take his ass back. We don't need him. No, no, we need him. You might not, nigga. Yeah, you don't need him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in the in the movie Juice, in the movie Juice, who plays the role of Bishop? Juice, I've I've never heard of that movie. Uh, I want to say Shaquille O'Neal. Damn, <laughs> close. <laughs> <That one. laughs> wow. Nah, uh, Tupac. <laughs> no, we real life hosts in the clan meeting. This all right, uh, you're in, did you ask the cookout question to him? Mm -mm. All right, you're invited to the cookout. What dish are you bringing? Um, you know, I like me my deviled eggs, deviled eggs, and then if not, um, for all out of eggs, I'll, I'll take fried okra. Oh, fried okra. Uh, you, you from the south? Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's like it's a cheat code for food questions. Yes, for the food questions. <laughs> yeah. so another question. Nah, I'm, I'm just. All right. I'm just fat. That's why I said. <laughs> All right, next caller. What's up, bro? <laughs> All right, start bench cut. MLK, LeBron James, Jay Z. I mean, only one of them got the most points in NBA history. I'm oh. starting, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna bench Jay Z. Like monetary wise, listen, listen, stay with me now. I can't. Like he's probably the most successful black man like in history. And I'm cutting MLK. MLK, he was cheating on his wife, bro. And what did he do that, that Malcolm wasn't doing? Like, you know? 
Was he cheating on his wife? Yeah. Oh, that was a little. Yeah, he was cheating on his wife. What does that matter? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we did ask him a question. Is this how niggas be in like superhero movies? Like <laughs> Superman say the whole world be like, "Hey, you know you cheated on Lois, though, right?" They give the nigga all the credit. <laughs> Next question, bro. All right. Funny, in on. the movie Juice, who plays the role of Bishop? Tupac. Okay. <laughs> is this the one dude we weren't sure about his race? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> all right. You're invited to the cookout. What dish are you bringing? I feel like this is a trick question. You don't want any of the food I'm a mate. Shit, I'm bringing cups. I'm bringing Sierra Mist. <laughs> I'm bringing ice. <laughs> smart. Right? That's actually was uh was smart. All right. Um, what else question we had, Pat? Oh yeah, yeah. All right. Finish this lyric. I pull up at the club, VIP, gas tank on E. Wipe me down. What? Wipe me down. Yeah, no, 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 but it's a lyric before wipe me down. I pull up at the club, VIP. Fuck. I pull up at the club, VIP, gas tank Mm -hmm. on E, but. Big white tall T? (laughs) What? (laughs) Something about a white team. Something nah, about no. team. But all drinks on me. That's the answer. Ah, uh, uh, damn. <laughs> Close enough, huh? <laughs> all right, next caller. All right, start bench cut. MLK, LeBron James, Jay Z. Um, let's start MLK. Um, Jay Z. Uh, we'll bench. We'll bench Jay Z. I don't listen to him, but you know, it's all right. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna cut LeBron just because he's the only one that's been dunked on by Jason Tatum before. <laughs> <laughs> you a Celtic fan? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> of course, of course. It makes sense. Makes Fuck sense. Milwaukee. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 chill, 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 chill. All right. How, how do you celebrate? Uh, Debbie, I said it. No, go ahead. How did you celebrate Black History Month? Um, <laughs> um, I dap up all my homies. <laughs> talk, talk. <laughs> Wish them a happy Black History Month. I have two of them in a the room with me right now. So you're what? black friends? Yeah. What y'all fucking? <laughs> <laughs> put them on the phone. Yeah, put them on the phone real quick. You said what? Put them on the phone. Yeah, they're here. We're here, bro. We're here, bro. What up? What y'all doing hey, over there? How y'all say? How y'all say? Y'all teaching him about Black History? They they make me say, "I love you, Black man." Facts. We gotta make sure he's not doing nothing outrageous. Okay. Any 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 borderline racist thing he's saying. Gotta spray him with some water. You gotta make sure you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you hosing him down like they did us. Bet, 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 bet. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hold on. Keep the phone on speaker. Hey, y'all, y'all two boys, y'all do something um, for me. Um, in honor of Black History Month, I just want y'all to beat the fuck out there, man. <laughs> just beat his ass, man. I'm not gonna go lie. You said what? We be doing that on a daily sometimes. I'm not going to lie. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, my God. Keep it up, black man. Yeah. <laughs> all right. be telling this nigga, shut the fuck up. Hey, bro, I don't let these niggas bu- uh, bully you now. Yeah, why are you letting them bully you, man? Reparations. <laughs> <laughs> Was that all of uh, the college? All right, put us back in the group. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. All right, white mic niggas. Appreciate y'all for coming on the... Yeah, sir. sir. Appreciate y'all for coming on the pod. Uh, I just want to say, my audio listener. Good job, man. All right, uh... (laughs) y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. We really appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. Five white dudes ain't been like this in a group chat since segregation, man. What? Hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. This, this, this is a uh, uh, Cam's black friend speaking real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, no offense to my boy Eddie, 
But Eddie, why was you yapping so much? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How black dude getting all the way through? He was yapping about the history of uh, 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 we, we did not need all that. Hold on, let Eddie talk. Hey, wait, 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 it, it really goes back a while, right? so uh, talking a lot can can be explained by a lot. But you know, some have a lot of stories, right? And I think that's really one of the biggest parts of of Black History Month, right? It's just telling stories and and recounting them, remembering everything, and that's such a great thing. Okay, mute Eddie and go back to that dude and see what he got to say about that. <laughs> See, I'm going back again. I literally just gave the advice to stop yapping, and we did it again. <laughs> I, I say that it's February. It is, it's still February. You have to listen to all commands and orders from fellow black men. No bullshit. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. Go back to Eddie. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, go back to Eddie. Eddie, respond to that. And I no, I understand that. <laughs> I know, and that's important. And I value that. But you have to to keep in mind the the integral parts of of this this uh, gestalt consciousness that we all have, right? This this little uh, collective memory that we all share. We have to to preserve these stories. And we have to share them all. Okay, it's, go back to the other dude. Um. <laughs> um Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Like, you just shut up. I, I don't need this like on the street talk. I'm black. I know what I'm. I know what I've been through. No, shut up. All right, last time to Eddie. Where Where does this come from? <laughs> I, I understand that that not all uh, see the beauty in in story and see the beauty in in. in recounting a memory and and sharing a moment <laughs> what has what ails you okay ask him respond what ails you what ails you <laughs> respond let him respond wait he said what what ails you <laughs> <laughs> that's a white that is actually a white ass word like, you can just say what drives you what, what... <laughs> My, my head hurts from now on. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Hey, if, if you ever talk to me like that, I'm a smack. Hey, 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 Eddie, let Eddie respond to that. Eddie, DM, Eddie, DM us, bro. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm like I'm listening to All right, go back to Eddie. Mute them, mute them. Eddie, we got to respond. He just said he going to smack you if you talk to him yeah, like that. Tim's black friend. Against black friend, violence is just not the answer. We need to to use love and and kindness uh, to unite humanity, to to unite us all, to to find what truly binds us, to find what really connects us all at a base level, right? Yeah. It that's what really matters, right? Okay, go back to the bro. Oh my god, the moral the moral of what I said the whole time is to stop yapping, and you can't. Be, if you don't know what yapping is. It's talking too much. You, you're not getting to the point. We, us, us black people, we keep it short and simple. You're not keeping it short and simple. Okay, let's see if Eddie keep it short and simple. Educate, okay, Eddie got that advice. Let's see if Eddie can get it short and simple one last time. Go ahead, Eddie. But I say I'm saying just the right <laughs> amount because I'm saying what needs to be said. I'm saying what's not being said. <laughs> I'm saying that we need to spread love and kindness and courage and compassion to all of the people by spreading these stories, by spreading this kindness. We need to to use our platforms, to use our connections, to to. All right, nigga, shut up. Oh, yeah. Appreciate y'all coming out to the game show. Hey, you should just cut off the because, bro. All right, you with all hey, these niggas, man. Hey, Eddie, DM us on IG. Eddie's the winner of the show, man. <laughs> yeah, Eddie's definitely the winner. Let's talk about the real hero of, of Valentine's Day, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra for Manscaped. This electric trimmer features a skin-safe technology guarding your V-Day treasure against any grooming mishaps. So, you know, you don't want to go in there. You know, it's Valentine's Day. You're about to get it on. 
You don't want to go in there with a little bloody uh bloody balls. Bloody balls is crazy. <laughs> are you saying like are you saying like regular clippers would like nick up somebody's yeah. balls and make them bleed? Yeah. You know how insane it would be? You like ready to have sex and she'd be like, oh my god, your balls bleed. <laughs> Y'all is not doing it. <laughs> Get 20% off and free shipping if you use the code CRASH on these. That's 20% off this thing works. and free ship. Donnell Rawlings and um, kind of went off on um, Corey Holcomb, who's uh, at the Laugh Factory there doing, was doing a comedy. Corey was doing a comedy set mm -hmm. and basically he called. Um, he said a, a, a statement saying that there's some comedians, yada, 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 their, their comedy is mild and they're not that good. Or they did something. I forgot what the exact words. You guys can correct me in the comments. But basically, Donnell said he felt like that was talking about him and he felt that he's been taking shots at him before. So he kind of just kind of went off on him. Or here's like the, the aftermath or the, what happened. My mild. M -I -L -D. You catch up. You so, <laughs> nobody agree? Nobody. So I'm wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can be wrong. I'm talking about, but we at the, we at the, um, what is this called? This is the Laugh Factory. <laughs> we was at the Savoy, you wouldn't be able to be up here that long. <laughs> you know, you know, get your whole ass down. I catch up in the hardest rooms in Brooklyn. Uh, and, and you ain't happened? never, and you ain't never. Because I do have a mic, I can talk to you straight up. You want to talk about it? You saying I'm, I'm, I'm positive there, but that is a really good excuse. Because <laughs> I hate when people be like, "Why are you yelling, bro?" When you when, when we're like super far apart, like, bro, that's the only way I could you would hear me. Mile, you saying I ain't come through the streets or the gutters in straight bull. <laughs> and if you want to ask somebody, ask the mother. That you know what I do. So, okay, all right. Listen, listen. This be fair. Fair conversation. No, 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 no. Let's be fair. Let's be fair and real. You say you keep it 100. You know how I get down. How? I ripped. You ripped lights? I ripped. You, you, you ask any ever seen me bomb. Anybody. So, it's an interesting time we're in right now. I feel like. A lot of comedians now are just like saying how they feel now, <laughs> especially like the, the the Cat Williams interview that happened, right? So since the Cat Williams interview that happened, I feel like there's been a lot of and Shannon Sharp was talking about it too, like the Cat Williams and the Monique stuff. Now now it feels like a whole uh, comedy like end end games or some shit is going on. Um, I just think that. All these comedians are getting to a point where, like, people want to know their... It's kind of like the NBA thing. Yeah. It's like NBA players jumping on a podcast. Mm -hmm. Now people want to know what's going on in the comedic world yeah. to kind of, like... When you got two people at the top that kind of, like, keep secrets, like, even though Kevin Hart and, and Cat Williams have been going at it, and Cat Williams did say a lot, but he didn't say, like, like vivid details. Yeah. So when two people argue at the top, Everybody goes to like all the other comedians to try to piece everything together mm -hmm. and be like, okay, whose side is he on? Yeah. Okay, whose side is he on? So everything becomes interesting, and they like I don't get like these these two dudes are both geniuses, right? Yeah. Dino's really man. Good. He has a special coming out, and it was the special. I think that's what he taped at uh because I saw him on Joe Budden's podcast, and that was the special that he was taping that we went and watched. And he yeah. was like I said, he was the funniest one to me yes. that night. Corey's also good too. Corey's good, yeah. So. And I guess there's some geniuses, so it's like if these two dudes, we don't know their history. That's so, why I, so I it heard could be like it could be like a skit or something that's going on to get them both what, like some more. I views. heard on the when I was listening to the Joe Budden podcast, and they were talking about that there was some beef between Corey and Dave Chappelle, and so and then Corey was talking shit about so you know, and Dave Chappelle's the reason that um, Donnell got that special and stuff like that. So it's just like obviously he's <laughs> he, he's a little bit more emotional than that, but I don't know. It's just one of those things where gatekeeping, gatekeeping, it, gate, the the gatekeeping thing is kind of weird. Yeah, because it's like there's definitely like um, I don't think gatekeeping really exists if uh -huh. you think about it. Yeah, because you only want people to be successful around you like that you want to see do good, right? So if somehow I like gain the position of picking. Um, 
you know, the cruiserweight champion's next bout, mm -hmm. right? And there was some way that I could, like, wiggle around and get you into that bout. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick you. Yeah. People be like, oh, he gatekeeping for his boy. No shit, nigga. Like, yeah. 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 I want him to. I don't care. You've been working your whole life. You 50 and no, I don't give a fuck. That's yeah. my man's. Uh -huh. Like, do you think Dave Chappelle is going to be like, Donnell been with me all this time, but hey, Corey, you are more talented. I'm going to roll with you for this Netflix special. Like, it don't work like that, bro. People are always going to pick who they came up yeah. with and who's their friend. And I don't think that's the reason. I don't know if that's the reason. Obviously, we yeah, don't know. I just, but like, yeah, I just always example. think the gatekeeping thing is like yeah. weird. Of course, they're going to pick their friends. And then one thing I was hearing was people was like, oh, I don't really like the fact that it's too, like, this comedian stuff that's going on, that it's too many, Um, it's always black people against the black people. And I'm like... The reason it's like that because that's who they interact with. That's you're not gonna have a beef with a white comedian yeah. if <laughs> I don't interact with this white comedian. He's yeah. never said anything to me, not, or he's never yeah. wronged me. Yeah. <laughs> so some of these people, you're gonna be you're gonna be wronged usually by the people you're around. And people don't realize like where these comedians came from. Yeah. Back then, uh, if you weren't Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, like one of those guys, you didn't have anything solo. Mm -hmm. More than likely, as a black comedian, you were on the set with multiple other black comedians back in the day yeah. because the, you guys were put in a box. So a lot of these guys crossed paths when they had to grow up with each other and they didn't really like each other. And they weren't able to say anything until now. Now that everybody cares, so like, damn, I already don't like this dude. And I get more clicks by just speaking my truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, bet. <laughs> yeah. This nigga's a bitch. <laughs> yeah. When he said Cedric Entertainer was a walrus, yeah, yeah, yeah. hands on the stomach. Uh, Shannon was saying that people were getting mad at him for like letting him, uh, Cat Williams, say those things without what challenging just, it. What is he supposed to say to Cat I don't Williams? know. I think I, I do get it, though, sometimes, because sometimes you're like, if I saw you on an interview, right, and somebody said some foul shit about me, <laughs> and you were interviewing that person, and then you started kikiing, with, you started like laughing with him. Yeah, I would be like, "All right, what this, was that? That funny, Pat?" Yeah, nah, and I don't like that. Attack the person that's saying it. <laughs> you know, he's a comedian. Like, yeah. He's a comedian, and of course, Shannon wasn't saying anything during that interview. Yeah. Cat Williams is the expert. Yeah, the super expert. Uh -huh. Shannon Sharp has no knowledge. If somebody came on here and was just like. I'm the best astronaut in the world. This astronaut sucked. This astronaut really didn't even go to space, blah, blah. And we just like, damn, damn. Then the astronaut, like, the call, the astronaut he was talking about, call us like, y'all really believe that shit? Y'all yeah. some hoes. Like, nigga, we don't know nothing about it's, no space. Exactly. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Would you ever go to space? No. No? Absolutely not. Never? They I would never. I'm never going uh, below. I'm never going above. <laughs> Staying right here. I don't know why they feel like there's just a pause for, for, for that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I it's like I'm pre-reaching because I don't even know what no, I'm reaching, reaching for. It's to reach, oh, but that's a pause. <laughs> pre-reaching? No, I don't know what I'm reaching for. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody in the comments, help me out. What, I, what what the going high low could mean for a pause moment? Okay, they they gonna be like, nah, Mike. But um, <laughs> but yeah, I would never go to space. Why? I, I just would have the anxiety of like never coming back. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Like, bro, who hit the button for us to return? <laughs> we not even passed Texas. <laughs> Nigga, not even hired in the plane. Uh, did you see uh, Dwight Howard tweet saying, "Hey, Kai, let's do our own celebrity game overseas. First stop, Taiwan. Second stop, Philippines." I ain't going nowhere with that nigga. <laughs> he got to know that he's trolling at this point, yeah, right? Yeah, I think Dwight Howard is like using. I remember he was doing an interview. And someone asked him if he was gay, and he didn't answer. Uh -huh. So he's, like, using that as to, like, up his platform, yeah. which I think is working very well. Yeah. Because whose business is it if he's gay or It's not? always we, we, uh, strange when, like, interviewer, interviewers want to um, make somebody come out the closet on their platform. Yeah. Like, he's never said he's, he's, he's homosexual or anything before, but you want this to be the place I just where also, he then says I, it. I also don't think people get blindsided with in podcasts. No. Well, sometimes. Charlie yeah. Barron's got a little bit blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got you, Charlie. We know we took it a little bit too far. <laughs> hey, if you have us back, I promise I'll be on my best behavior. <laughs> <laughs> so, NBA Young Boys, Baby Mama. I don't know which one, so don't ask. <laughs> Not Money Mayweather's daughter. Not Yaya. Not Yaya. So, uh, one of them was uh, allegedly in a trunk being kidnapped and she went live or posted something on her story so this is what she posted somebody help me oh my god oh my god oh my god you guys help me i just got kidnapped she went live i 
can't breathe in this car. I can't breathe. It won't let me pull this latch. Help me. Somebody help me. What the Oh my God. It's too hot in here. I can't breathe. I cannot breathe. Hey, she I don't know where they're going. I just know I woke up in this fucking truck and my phone was in my fucking pocket. They didn't, whoever got me, they don't know that I got my phone. Guys, help me. So, this can't be real, right? So, um, because she had her phone, why she just called 911? It was a prank gone wrong. So, somebody pranked her while she was asleep and put her in her trunk. And she recorded a video? She didn't know she, they were pranking her. What, wait, who would she think she was talking to then? She made that video and put it out, like, as to, like, as a alert to like help her, she posted it. Let's, I get. <laughs> She's in a trunk. I no no no. I get that now. You explained it well. All right. Okay. The first thing I know is the prank now. But why would the first thing be to post something on the internet? Maybe she thought her family has something to do with it. Maybe she. Nobody knows if she made calls before or nine one one. That's what the reason I say that is. Just I, she sounds like she's probably in on the prank. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> it just doesn't seem like she a logical like a thing. Sad, she was like, I am okay. My family members know that I'm okay. It's like, all right, bitch, I got anxiety, though. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's so, you get what I'm saying, though? Yeah. If I'm stuff, stuck in a trunk and I legit think, I would, and I have my phone, it's way harder to record something than put, put it on social media. <laughs> it's just to call 911. Right, you in a trunk breathing hard, like, none of this shit. I got no service. Anymore. Yeah. <laughs> My fucking is not uploading. Yeah, especially you got Wi Fi. Like, you got. <laughs> you alive, kidnapped? I'm, I'm going to wait till more people get in the live yeah. before I start. Okay, we got 100 people in here. Y'all, I, man, they kidnapped me. Hold on. Somebody requested to come in. What up, Brody? Yeah, this. Yeah, bro. I can't this, breathe. This is what they I'll, got me in. How long you been in there, bro? <laughs> Shit, I can't even tell you, bro. I hear niggas talking outside. They don't sound too nice. Shit, they got the free me shirts yet? <laughs> hey, appreciate y'all holding it down. But anyway, let me get back to this live. Hey, man, I don't think I'm going to make it, bro. <laughs> like, I don't get it. <laughs> hey, bro, follow me, though. <laughs> Bro, like, social media is a hell of a drug, bro. Man. The shit that people will do for attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I always tell people, like, I, I there's certain people I know that will crumble with, like, as many followers as we have. Mm -hmm. Just for, like, because I see people, and sometimes I see uh, people act like they don't care about social media. And those are the worst type of people. Yeah. <laughs> because you don't care about social media because nothing has you've ever posted, like, went viral. Mm -hmm. Right? And... When you post, I see people that claim they don't care about social media post something that went viral and they double down on it. They'll triple yeah. down on it. Then see it doesn't work. Then go back to not care. Yeah. Like, well, you care. You just never went viral and you don't have anything. What you do well, sometimes like your talent mm -hmm. is not for the internet. Like yeah. you, you might be. But also the, people don't, everybody doesn't post on social media. Right. But you, go viral. if you're the best principal in the world, nobody will ever know. Nobody knows who the best principal in the world That's is. That's fine. But what's right. that? Nobody know who's the best. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it doesn't relate to social media, yeah. which which is perfectly fine. That's yeah. why I just say like, that's why uh, the internet is like a drug because you never know when you're gonna get it. Mm -hmm. Like even popular accounts like ourselves, we can go through droughts. You never know; it could end just like that. Yeah, like, exactly. It could be over one day, and people be like, "Remember them niggas?" Yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, a niggas posting your videos like, "Let's bring these niggas back." See what they <laughs> Like, like, or I'm a, I'm or there's the YouTube, the YouTube, whatever yeah. happened to the Crash Dummies podcast? Patrick Johnson is now a CNA. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen that for that. <laughs> Got to the bag, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I was always thinking about that the other day. I was like, damn, what do I want to do? Like, if, like, I was like thinking, like, would I ever work a full time job again? Because I haven't worked a full time job in like three years. I've been like on the entrepreneur vibe for three years and i was like damn would i ever work a full-time job because like sometimes I'll i never think go back the thing i think about sometimes is the 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 stability of like you're gonna make this x amount of dollars every time i don't care <laughs> i know i know i'm just saying i just think about it though like what i i think i would work if i ever went back to the corporate world it'll be in a different like capacity it'd be way, way more like the creative field like i am in right now yeah like say because i've done stuff with google right so right. i technically was working with google but i was really just a contractor for Google. Mm -hmm. So I was helping them with their um their 
that they're gonna do something like Reels, but for, on Google. But I don't think it ever panned out. Mm. <laughs> but um, so I was working. So I was working with Google. I was working for Google, but not like in that capacity. So yeah. like it'd be like a a position, kind of a contract on projects, stuff like that. I, yeah, I think the creator route is like what everybody aims for. Is yeah. Like oh, if I could just come in and create. But what you don't realize, is like. There's always going to be somebody over you. Yeah. No matter what it is. And at some point, the time you realize that they're over you is like when they disagree with you. Mm -hmm. You could go two years without this happening. Mm -hmm. You could be creating stuff to buy fire. Good shit. Good shit. Good yeah. shit. And then it's going to be this one thing that you're passionate about. They're just going to be like, no, nah, man, I don't think so. And then you're going to go back and explain it like, no, nah, this is why, this is why. And they're be like, no, nah, this is why, this is why. You think you're having a healthy debate? And they're just be like, no, nigga. How about that? I mean, yeah. No. And then that's when you'd be like, ah, I should have just worked for myself. But there's, no, there's nobody no can tell us no. There's, but yes. I could get on this bitch and but say we can tell, we've I want. But we've told each other no before. Pause. <laughs> you just said no one can tell us no. And how is that not pause? Is that pause? <laughs> it's not exactly. But we've told each other no before. And it, to me, when I work, I work in my, for myself technically, but I still answer to people though. Like the, my clients, if like I have to do my client's work, right? I have to do that. So you technically always working for somebody because you still need money but obviously you can choose the jobs what what to take and what to not because right. we have created differences sometimes with the podcast and mm -hmm. we just have actually have a a conversation about it and then one of us will realize oh yeah you're right mike wanted day. to interview a bunch of only fan girls no i didn't bro <laughs> he wanted to like start bro, this documentary. Don't do bro don't you want to start this documentary no i did this thing is lying bro that made six figures that's only making like two thousand uh dollars no. Every six months, and he wanted to see the downfall of the OnlyFans. He wanted us to do this big document. I'm like, man, we should do what you rather's, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope everybody knows this nigga's lying. <laughs> nah, somebody like, man, thank God for that. I fact. knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Mike to shut the fuck up. <laughs> he always ruined it. <laughs> I hate what I, the the one thing I hate about Instagram comments, and because I I want everybody to comment what they think. You gotta I, stop that shit though. No, no. I think people should say what they want because that's why I'm on this podcast for like to to it's about to contradict yourself. Go ahead. No, I, I am. But if only the people that wouldn't say it in my face, that's the people I don't want. To talk I know to. that's unfair. <laughs> that's unfair. Yeah. Because what I'm starting to realize is that, you know, I, I get way more backlash than you do. No. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. What but I'm starting to realize... These rightfully people, so. They're, yeah, fuck them niggas. <laughs> fuck you talking about. <laughs> give a fuck about none of them niggas, for real. I think why I take it so personally sometimes is that I don't be saying anything sometimes. It'd be you. <laughs> it just falls on me. Nigga like, they be like, fuck you too, Pat Mike. <laughs> what the fuck did I do? <laughs> but I'm just saying, no, like, but they're attacking the character yeah, yeah. that we're portraying on uh -huh. this show. It's like, I'm not a calm dude in real life, but I'm not like, obviously... Um, saying my opinion about every single thing. Yeah. I don't call everybody broke <laughs> yeah. that I see in life. I might think it. I don't call them that. <laughs> but it's just like, you're, you're attacking the character. It's like, but some people take it like a little bit too far. Yeah. Nobody really ever take it too far. Yeah. Like, the fuck you, Pat, that's cool. Yeah, like, that's, yeah, yeah, that's cool. I'm cool with that. I just, people, anytime I get my feelings hurt, I just look at my bank account and then go back <laughs> to their profile picture and I feel a lot better. My, my thing, like, I'd be posting, like, a normal a video. It'd be like, <laughs> it'd be like, nigga, shut up and upload the pod. Like, nigga, what? Yeah. Like, this is my personal page. That's why like, these dudes are so thirsty to leave comments on me. They leave, Mike is preparing for a fight. I see three fuck you pass on a boxing video. When not, I'm not even at it. Yeah, or, I haven't even commented. <laughs> like, how y'all niggas here? <laughs> no, but honestly, I do appreciate the the comments and everybody with the hate and the love because that's what kind of like it. We do a lot of shit talking, yeah. so sometimes it's, it's what we should. Expect. I think it's fair for people to be in this community yes. and only like one person in this community. Like, there's people in this community that only like Key, yeah, <laughs> and they got here when Key started, and they only fuck with Key, and I fuck with that, yeah. Exactly. Like, if you hate me, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy news update. <laughs> I hate you too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll end it there. Then <laughs> appreciate y'all for coming on the podcast. Uh, I said coming on the podcast. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I appreciate y'all. I really fuck with everybody. Like we, I, I think this community is dope. It's like the sibling fighting, but yeah. if somebody from the outside attacks, like we all get on this ass. Exactly. <laughs> I feel we got, we definitely got strength in numbers. Audio listeners. YouTube listeners, Patreoners, especially Patreoners, buy listeners, the buy listeners, all oh, the, the the people that listen. Gotta to both shout things. out key people, our <laughs> our buy correspondent not here right now. So. <laughs> 
Making sure y'all get recognized. <laughs> anyway, this has been episode 143 of Crash Dummies Podcast. Um, see you guys next week.